Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about iterative and recursive algorithms. So we are discussing about the analysis of algorithm efficiency. So we can analyze the algorithm efficiency by using four different ways. First one is analysis framework. Second one is asymptotic notation. Third one is mathematical analysis for recursive algorithms. And the fourth one is mathematical analysis for non-recursive algorithm. So we need to understand uh, already analysis framework is uh, completed. Asymptotic notation is also complete. So the next one is mathematical analysis for recursive and non-recursive algorithms. So first we need to understand what is recursive and what is non-recursive. Non-recursive is also known as iterative and recursive. Okay. So we are uh, discussing about this. First one is iterative. This is also known as non-recursive. So we all know iterative is nothing but repetitive. If you want to execute one statement number of times, compulsory we need to use looping statements. So if iterative statement, sorry, iterative algorithm solves a problem with a specific sequence of steps, often using loops. So here one statement is executed number of times with the help of looping statements. We have while loop, do while loop, for loop. Iterative algorithms generally follows a process of initialization, repetition, and determination. So initialization is nothing but storing value into variable. A repetition is nothing but condition. So the condition, if the condition is true, then the statements are executed. If the condition is false, the statements are not going to be executed. So the statements are repeatedly executed until the condition is false. Okay. The next one is a termination. Okay. Yes. So if the algorithm uses while loop, do while loop or for loop, that means iterative statements, we can call that algorithm as iterative algorithm. Okay, see the example, algorithm factorial. So here factorial is a function, okay, fact is equals to 1. So I am storing fact is equals to 1 for, so here this needs to repeat i is equals to 1 to n. So what is the n value? For example, I am taking n value is equals to 5. So here it will repeat the same task n number of times that means i is equals to 1 to 5 so here it contains 1 2 3 4 5 first i value is pointing to 1 what is the fact value 1 1 into 1 is 1 next i value is pointing to 2 1 into 2 is 2 next i value is pointing to 3 3 into 2 is 6 we are storing in fact next i value is four, uh, pointing to 4 6 into 4 is 24. Next I value is pointing to 5. 24 into 5 is 120. So no other elements are there. So it will repeat up to 1 is uh, i is equals to 1 to n times. 5 times it will repeat. So if the i value is incremented to 6, it will come out from the loop and it will return the fact value. What is the fact value? 120. So here for repetition we are using for loop. If the algorithm uses for loop or while loop or do while loop we can call that algorithm as an iterative algorithm. Okay. So the next one is a recursive algorithm. So recursion is nothing but the function calling itself is known as recursion. If the algorithm contains a recursion inside the algorithm we can call that algorithm as recursive algorithm. So the recursive algorithm is a type of algorithm that calls itself one or more times in order to solve a problem. So let's see the same problem algorithm to find out the factorial of a given number. So my given number is 5. Okay, n value is 5. If n value is equals to 0, it returns 1. Why? Because 0 factorial is 1. Else, so this condition is not true. n value is 5. So that's why it will come to else part it will return what is the n value 5 5 into factorial of n minus 1 if you observe again we are calling the factorial function but this time we are passing n minus 1 what is n minus 1 4 so 5 into factorial of 4 again it will check n value equals to 0 no n value is not equals to 0 again it will come now n value is 4 so before n value is 5 now n value is 4 so 5 into 4 into factorial of n minus 1 that means 3 again we are calling next 5 into 4 into 3 next again we are calling with the input 2 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 
next one okay 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so it will return the output okay so in this way if the algorithm uses recursion inside the algorithm we can call that algorithm as recursive algorithm if the algorithm uses for loop or while loop or do while loop we can call that algorithm as iterative algorithm i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please do subscribe my channel Thank you.